Hi guys, welcome to another Excessive Gamer Review, my series of thoughts of current and maybe not so current games, because some oldies are worth looking back to. If you're hoping for an overall score, a number, or anything that remotely depicts any form of scaling system whereby you get to gauge the worthiness of the material, well, this isn't the place to get it. But what you'll certainly get is my most honest and humble opinion on what I think works and doesn't work in any given title. So if you like what you see, why not subscribe. With all those formalities out of the way, let's get going. Beyond Two Souls and its tumultuous release saw its review figures hit well below the mark. The gist of it is that developers misjudged how the staggered story wouldn't resonate with all players since story progression wasn't smooth sailing. In the original timeline and sequence in Beyond Two Souls, you start playing as Jody around 5 years old. Then you would jump into her teens to then be brought back to her infancy. Personally, I never found this to be a huge problem, but I remember specifically thinking back then that this game wouldn't be everyone's cup of tea. For their sake, the developers should have just lined up the chapters chronologically. A year down the line, the developers patched the game and did just that. So how does it stand in today's climate? The story centers around protagonist Jody, who has this unusual relationship with a spirit entity which has been with her since birth and gives her powerful telekinesis and very unwarranted responsibility. The entity goes by the name Aiden. Aiden is both a hindrance and a gift during her life. He is attached to Jody by what appears to be some form of spiritual umbilical cord, so he is practically a part of her. The relationship between Aiden and Jody and the evil it draws to them in the form of Netherworld's evil spirits causes a lot of torment and anguish, especially in her young life. Jody's powers were physical and psychologically damaging to herself and those around her. Therefore, Jody's parents decide that she should be placed under special care in a laboratory, where she would be studied for the remainder of her life. Beyond Two Souls will heave at those heartstrings like very few games have in the past. You are put in difficult situations almost immediately. Most of the heart-wrenching moments will happen with Jody as a young child. No child should ever have to go through that amount of hurt. As a player, you can control, or better said, guide Jody and Aiden through what can only be described as the most comfortable path through the severities of her unusual and paranormal everyday lifestyle. Trolling Aiden is almost like a dream come true for me. Being able to cause havoc in a household by smashing windows, throwing furniture and basically scaring the living daylights out of anyone is extremely fun and would be on my bucket list if it was something we could do in this lifetime. Of course, you are mostly given the choice to be able to back away and behave, but where's the fun in that? The controls are for the most part relatively self-explanatory whilst controlling Aiden. Being able to move to an adjacent room to spy into someone's conversation or see what they're getting up to gives you an immense feeling of power I've not felt anywhere before. It is justly addicting and scary to say the least. The voice acting is top notch with Ellen Page voicing Jody and Willem Dafoe as Nathan Dawkins. You can expect the scenes to match Hollywood's finest moments. The main concern is the mocap which doesn't quite always feel to be 100% spot on and in sync with what's happening and can lead to immersion issues. The sound, although mostly great, sometimes seems to fall a little short during some of the bigger cutscenes. The game's soundtrack, however, is hauntingly good and it is something that won't easily be forgotten long after you finish the game. To round off, Beyond Two Souls was a journey into a spiritual phenomenon which has always intrigued me. The idea of having a ghost buddy with you throughout life is nothing new though. With angels being thought of as guardian angels, the concept has been there for the taking all along. It is a wonder this idea hasn't caught on before in the gaming industry. The journey with Jody and Aiden cascades with moments of grief and sorrow, whilst also rampaging moments of action and quick decision making. It is everything you'd want from a heavily story driven experience, and more. It must iterate, more, because Jody will be with you long after you finish the game. You will take her heartache and her sorrow and remember it in everyday circumstances. When your lights flicker at home or in the subway during your work commute, you will remember Aiden. Few titles will hold a spot in my memory, but when characters are richly portrayed with a deep foundation and great storytelling, I will recall these moments fondly no matter their circumstances. Beyond Two Souls lives in me now as much as Aiden lived with Jody. It is now a part of me for the remainder of my own personal journey. I'm Excessive Gamer, until next time.